वेलकम टू वर्चुअल लर्निंग वर्चुअल लर्निंग नेटवर्क सेशन नंबर नाइन बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन राइटिंग मेमोज सर्कुलर्स एंड नोटिस टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड इन दिस सेशन आर वॉट इज अ मेमो प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ प्रिसाइस राइटिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड फॉर्मेट ऑफ अ मेमो लैंग्वेज एंड राइटिंग स्टाइल ऑफ अ मेमो सर्कुलर्स एंड नोटिस एंड डू इट योर सेल्फ नाउ वॉट इज अ मेमो मेमो इज अ थिंग विच मस्ट बी रिमेंबर्ड इट इज अ टूल फॉर कम्युनिकेटिंग विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अ ब्रीफ रिपोर्ट इट इज अ प्रिसाइस राइटिंग एंड इट इज अ कंडेंस्ड रिपोर्ट नाउ हाउ टू डिफाइन इट The word memo is a short form of memorandum which is derived from the latin word which means a thing which must be remembered It is also referred to as an inter office memorandum since it is used primarily as a tool for communicating within the organization the memo is a, is essentially a condensed or a brief report that can be used to convey information and decisions or to make short request to coworkers superiors and subordinates it is relatively informal in style compared to letters and long reports and is unpretentious and concise it is important for the business executives to know how to write condensed reports or memos often business executives may also be asked to condense business articles for their superiors this is essentially the same as precise writing where an article is condensed to one fourth its size without losing the essence or meaning the condensed article could then be put in memo format and sent to the superior now what are the principles of precise writing precise writing is regularly done by many assistants of top executives to help them in keeping up with their business readings there are three main principles of precise writing what are they we can mention them with three c's of precise writing first is condensation this means that the precise should be a brief short and version of the original article in general the precise should be one fourth the length of the original second comprehension while it is important to reduce the article to one fourth its size the article should not loss its meaning in the process of doing this it should be as easy to understand the condensed article as it is to understand the original article next is coverage in the process of condensing the article all the main points or ideas in the original article should be retained and adequately covered so that the shortened article comes across as complete precise writing requires a lot of skill and is not just about chopping sentences and words to reduce the length alone all the three c's are equally important for a precise to be meaningful and readable a perfectly condensed article is of no value if it cannot be understood similarly an article which is perfectly understood but which omits some key ideas is not of much use since it does not reflect the original now in the precise writing we can include three points what are they main theme that means the topic what is the to- article about what is the topic of the article this is usually indicated in the caption itself like the future of the indian auto industry if not it is important to read the article fully and grasp the main theme next is components these are the main idea of the writing the article what is writing about these are the main ideas and the ideas used to support the main theme 
next is elements these are the key words that are used to express the main ideas for example the number of light commercial vehicles has increased fourfold in urban and suburban areas this year compared to the last year the words in bold are the key words now what are the components of a memo the components of a memo are first is header header is this compact block of information which appears at the top of the memo includes the to from date and subject headings which is similar to the title page of a longer more formal report the two headings should mention the name of the receiver or the primary target audience in the above example this is the marketing vp the from heading should include the name of the sender or writer of the memo the subject line should include the specific purpose of the memo this helps the writer in the development of the message and lets the reader know what the memo is all about now next is body body is what a main text this is the text of the memo which contains the details and major topics unlike as in letters the memo need not have a formal salutation unlike a formal report which has to be completely objective personal pronouns such as i and you are acceptable in a memo as in the opening sentence of the memo shown above this is because a memo is purely for internal use in the organization next is close or action call for action unlike formal letters memos need not include a formal close and a signature line however unless the purpose of the memo is just to inform there should be a clear call for action for example i request you to review my proposal and to grant approval next is cc it is optional this is an abbreviation for carbon copy sometimes a copy of the memo may go to another person this is indicated by cp cc followed by the name of the person a memo may follow one of two types of formats depending on its nature and purpose the direct organizational plan and deductive organization and b is the indirect organizational plan or inductive organization first is direct organizational plan the purpose is only to convey information the this format is used when a memo is purely informational as in the example shown since the purpose is only to convey information and all the details are presented right away it is also used sometimes when the purpose of the memo is to persuade this is appro appropriate when you are sure that your proposal or request will be accepted without any resistance in this case the writer will make the request right at the beginning and then list out the reasons next is indirect organizational plan or inductive organization what we do in this we persuade the reader this type of memo format is appropriate when the purpose of the memo is to persuade but when the writer feels that the reader might object to the request or the proposal therefore the writer will try to convince the reader by presenting the reason first and then make the request or recommendations right at the end now language and writing style of a memo how to write a memo what type of language and what style should be followed while writing a memo the points are first is be concise it is important to be brief and to the point so that the memo does not exceed 2 pages in length make the sentences and paragraphs short limit each paragraph to 5 lines or less and then use bullet points wherever possible if you are giving reasons number them 
and put them in separate paragraphs with double line spacing otherwise use single line spacing between lines next is use active not passive voice use of personal pronouns and active voice should be there and like a formal report where the passive voice should be used for the sake of objectivity in other words we can say it is appropriate to say for example that based on my experience i feel that the budget is not adequate next is use simple language we should avoid jargon and technical terms when we are writing for a memo the importance of using simple english was emphasized use short uncomplicated words and avoids trying to impress by using by using unnecessary jargon and technical terms next is avoid giving too many reasons although it is important to provide a justification when you make a request or try to persuade someone to do something do not overdo it in general a reader can only absorb a maximum of 6 or 7 reasons at once next is call for action we should not leave the reader hanging if we wish to persuade him to accept our request and recommendations we must say so clearly using action words and indicating a time frame or limit now circulars and notices how to prepare circulars and notices what is circulars circulars are announcements that are distributed to a small or selective groups of people within the organization like we can give an example if a manager wants to call a meeting of heads of departments he will pass around a circular he will pass around a circular only at the heads requesting them to attend that meeting on the other hand notices generally contain information or announcements that are meant for all the employees of an organization notices notices are announcements that are distributed to a larger group of people whenever we are to inform a larger group of people we always give notices we always provide notices to them so that the information can be sent to all of them now do it yourself what are the principles of precise writing what are the components of a memo thank you be learning happy learning